One thing that is common the worldwide is companies live off their data. So I'm going to start a VCL Forms application here and I'm not actually going to do any coding in this. I'm just going to use the components. Uh, I want to show you how you can really become the superhero and give your customers access into the data in a, in a very, very effective way uh, using FastCube. So I'm going to go down, let's find FastCube in here and I'm going to have some data so we need to have a data source and a data set. Now the data source obviously connects up to the data set. The data set though will connect to a normal T data set. So we're going to go to our employees sample database, interface sample database, and just going to grab the sales data here. And let's go just make this active. And we're going to link the live T data set into the Data, the fast cube data set and we now need to link our data source into something that we're going to show on the screen. Now what is used on the screen is we're going to use here a slice grid toolbar and a slice grid. And the slice grid we're just going to go ahead and align that to the client. The slice grid toolbar, we're just going to connect up to the slice grid. And to actually display the data, we actually need a slice as well. So let's pop down a slice. And the slice will communicate with a cube because the slice is a subsection of the cube. The cube's data source. Is the, FIDAC, uh, is the fast cube data source and we also need to tell the cube source that it is of type data source um, so you just need to match that together. The slice has to belong to the cube and the slice grid needs to be connected to the slice. So hopefully you're with me so far. Now let's go ahead and just make sure that the cube is active and we can go run and we can now see that we've got some data in here uh, let's go and put the sales rep in and maybe the total value which is now a measure which we can go ahead and put in and we can now see how much each rep has done uh, we can drill in and we can see specific details now behind the orders that each rep has got and it's making up that total so that's really really cool now let's go ahead now and just add in some exports. So the fast cube has some exports and uh, we can use kind of HTML um, and maybe uh, let's go ahead and add in um, CSV which means you can then go and open up the data in Excel for example and all I need to do is just drop them onto the application and what's quite cool now is we now have the exports available to us so let's go ahead and maybe down, uh, just rebuild some data to export. So let's put total value by, by sales rep, by paid flag, and let's just put that measure down here. And now I can go ahead and export that to file. And let's just go call that my report. Uh, in fact, if I just go ahead and do that again, and just tell it to open after export, and that will just save me messing around going finding the file. We can now see the data view um, directly out there for me. Um, if we actually drill straight in, and let's go and have a look at maybe what's not been paid, so we can go chase that up uh, and export that to CSV. And I'm just going to call that not paid. Uh, we can now see the not paid data. Uh, and that's in a CSV format which we could go and open Excel um, uh, and do whatever we need to do with it. So really super easy to drill into the data, find what you need, get it exported and, uh, and integrate it with other systems if you need to.